Hey guys, welcome back. This is just going to be a quick video and I wanted to share something I learned. So I'm working in IntelliWeb and I have some devices in my nav tree that I don't want to select and I want to do kind of a global command. And let's just get right into that. So over here you see uh, VAV1112 and is online and uh, one three one four is offline and there's different ways you could go about this but uh, what I discovered is if I select one hold control click another one now I have two and I'm sure you already knew that and I can hold control and select this other online one as well as this other online one the thing I found out is what I'm about to show you. So now with those selected, if you hold control and click this one, we have those and this, and you could see the device count going up over there. But if I want to select this entire range of boxes all the way down to the bottom here, what I can do is actually hold control, press and hold shift and click and I'll scroll, scroll up to show you what we have. So now we have this whole range here selected. But we have maintained the individual selections using control up above. And I've done it before by sorting and getting uh, things that are only online or, you know, certain naming. And I've done it that way, but I, I really discovered this by accident. So now we can go ahead and put a filter on here, which is what I was shooting to do. And I've created this point balance hot water. And I do this uh, for every site. Uh, for any analog output, I, uh, I, do, I, I have programming in here to when this is activated, we send the valve 100%. And any uh, binary hot water valve, uh, it, it simply commands it on. Uh, so I do that for hot water as well as I have a point in every VAV um, balance max and that just sends the damper 100%. Uh, so they're really convenient points to have uh, during the construction process obviously for balancing purposes, but also just something simple as boiler startup um, or, or just pre-boiler startup uh, when we're trying to get flow through the building. Maybe they're doing a water treatment, trying to get air out of the system. And when you're asked to command all the valves in the building open, uh, it's just a simple way to do it. But Today's video was really about this navigation trick. It may sound straightforward, maybe you already knew about it, uh, but I hope it helps you. It definitely helped me. I was unaware that you could do that kind of independent selection uh, like that while maintaining kind of a bulk selection. And uh, so let me know in the comments. Uh, if you have any helpful tips you'd like to share, and if this video helped you, uh, give it a like, and if you're not subscribed, I really appreciate your subscription, and I hope you have a good one, and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you.